everybody, we got a video for you today. Uh, we wanted to go through the steps uh, to do get into the advanced uh, settings of the uh, electronic speed control unit. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask questions about that, uh, so we wanted to do a video to cover that. So what you can do, go on our website, and we have a full instruction manual that you can download. Uh, this has uh, all the information about the speed control, has information about what all the settings are, how to get into those, um, and we're going to cover that today in a video. So uh, hopefully any questions that you have, we can answer those. So what you're going to want to do, make sure that the battery is installed in the car. Make sure the you have the radio. Go ahead and turn the radio on. Make sure the light's on. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to locate the set button. And it's uh, on the label right here, and you can see this button right there. And you can just depress that a couple times just to get the feeling of that. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to push that button down and hold it down as you turn the car on. So, and then you're also going to look for these lights in this corner here. There's a red light on this side here, and then there's a green light on this side of the speed control, but they're right in this area. So when we first turn this on, you hold the set button down, the red light's going to blink, and you want to keep holding this set button down. Eventually, you're going to see the green light blink. Once that green light blinks, each time that blinks, that's going to tell you what setting mode you're in. So if you look at, this, at the uh, setup sheet, in this section right here, it has the setting here. So you have 1, to, one through 10, and then once we, get, once we get a little bit farther in, then it has the options for each one of those settings. So you're going to hold the button down, wait till the green light blinks, and each time that blinks, that's going to go into the setting mode. When you release that button, then it's going to go into what option under that setting you're in. So it's going to blink one time. The other thing I'll give you a heads up on is when you get to the fifth setting, you're going to notice that the green light will blink five times for setting number five. When it goes to setting number six, it's going to be a long green blink, and then it's going to be a short green blink. So that long green blink means five. The short one means one. So five plus one is six. So then when you get to seven, it'll be a long one, which is five, and two short ones, which is seven. So let's go ahead and get into that setup mode. So you're going to hold this setting button down, and you're going to turn the speed control on at the same time. You're going to see the red light blink, and then you're going to see the green light blink. So that's setting number one. Keep holding it down, setting number two, then setting number three, setting number four, setting number five. That was six. Do you see that long blink and then the sixth one? So here's going to come eight. And that's nine. And then ten is going to be two long blinks. So we're going to go ahead and then you keep holding it down, it's going to repeat back to one. So then we're going to leave it on two. And now you're going to see this red light blink. So when it blinks just that one time, that means you're in option number one of setting number two. So if you want to advance it to number two, just push the button once. Now the red light will blink twice. And if you want to go to three, hit that and it'll go to three. Hit that and it'll go to four. And there's five. There's that long blink for five. Go to setting six. There's a long blink and a short. There's seven, there's eight, there's, and then it's back to number one. So it only has eight options in that setting. So once you get it to whichever option in the setting that you want, just go ahead and turn the car off and then turn it back on. And that'll reset the speed control. It'll remember that. If you ever want to check that, just go in through the settings menu and do the same thing. So like I said, when one problem people have encountered is they don't hold this button down long enough to go all the way through the steps. Some people have said, well, I can only get to five and it doesn't go any farther. If you don't keep holding this button down, it won't go past that number five one. So just keep holding that down. Another thing you can do is if you have any problems with settings or something's not setting right or whatever, there's a factory reset on these two. So what you want to do is make sure the radio's on, make sure the car's on, and you're going to hold this set button down with everything on, and you're going to see this red and this green light start to, they're going to come on at the same time, and there's going to be a slow blink. Now I'll do that, hold this down. You'll see both of them light up. 
and you can release the button and they'll just keep flashing like that. So that means everything has been factory reset. Then just turn the car off, turn the car back on and everything is reset. Now on the settings, uh, on the manual, in the settings section right here, there's an asterisk by where the default settings are. So when you reset that, it's gonna go back to those default settings. So another thing too, is a lot of people get into here and they adjust the timing as far up as they can get it. What you're gonna to wanna to do, don't, you know, we recommend not going all the way up. I mean, it does get everything very hot when you do that. Uh, reduces the life of the motor. Um, speed control gets hot, motor gets hot. So just be kind of careful with that. If you're in a, you know, extreme running conditions where there's a lot of traction, uh, you run in a five cell battery, that kind of stuff, you know, really watch that timing because you will, you will, you could, you know, take a chance of, of uh, you know, hurting the motor or, uh, you know, just getting everything really hot. So uh, if you have any questions on this, uh, hit us up on our uh, uh, email section on our website, or you can hit us up on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, make sure you keep watching our website and social media pages for more updates and more things to come. And thanks for watching.